Today I'm going to show you all how to put an oil pressure gauge on a Briggs & Stratton 25 horse engine. This will work on most Briggs & Stratton engines that have the uh, pressure lube system with the oil filter and uh, one of the Kohler engines too. As you can see down here right next to the oil filter there's an output on there. That's the Scots advantage. There's usually a nut there like on this motor. And that's usually used for testing purposes. But you could just hook a regular oil pressure gauge up there like this one that I got from uh, AutoZone. I think it was like 20 or 25 bucks. But this uh, this will work in just about any Briggs. Um, the uh, single overhead valves with the pressure lube have it. Uh, a lot of the vanguards do. Um, if you want to put this on a Kohler, I don't know about the singles, but I know the V-Twins have right back behind the carburetor is a plate with a plug you could put it in there too. Now the tricky part with some engines, this one's not really too bad, is routing this plastic tubing so it doesn't melt. So I got lucky and had a clip already right there. So I'm just gonna fish it up around there. Through the hole here. And right up into the dash, which I actually have two regular, I think they're two and a half or three inch gauges. Um, and being that this engine I just rebuilt, um, the hour gauge is completely off now. So I'm just gonna pull that out and replace it with the oil gauge. Now this is much easier to do if you have the engine off the tractor like I did because there's almost no room to work here, but you can do it. Uh, I believe you gotta take all this metal off to get there, give you a little more space, or you might be able to just jam a socket on that square head that's usually there. So I'm just gonna pop this gauge out here. This is nice, the uh, Craftsman DLT 2000 and DGT tractors have round gauges which are standard size. And squeeze all these clips. And it comes right out. These are actually pretty simple to put on. These are simple to put on. You just put the nut part on first. The brass fitting. That. And you just shove that in there as far as it'll go. Seat the brass fitting. And tighten this down. You don't want to go too nuts with these, otherwise the brass nut will split. That's probably good there. Okay. Now. Just fish that through. Just like that. Now I'll just tie up all this excess tubing in here. And this has a light that I could put on. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now.
and there it is. On this side I got my ammeter. The next thing I like to do is put a tack on this thing. That'd be pretty cool. And of course, if you uh, don't have the dash with the holes already in it, you just blow a hole anywhere you want in it. Oh, they give you this bracket if you want to just put that somewhere and mount it up anywhere. Oh, now once you get this started, let's see if it works. Oil pressure. Off awesome. the I did find a spot for the hour meter. We're in the engine compartment, right out of the way. You know it's inaccurate? This will give me a good idea of maintenance. 